and our top story until now the dmk and the karuna nidhi family which runs the party has been silent about the charges confronting their family members now for the first time kani mori daughter of karuna nidhi and dmk mp and one of those being investigated by the cbi and the 2g scam has spoken out she says that let the charge sheet come she will fight it out and emerge in the clear The CBI suspects that 214 crore rupees were transferred from the TV group, one of the beneficiaries of the 2G spectrum, to Kalanya TV, in which Kani Mori holds a 20% stake, and that may have been a bribe. But Kani Mori says that she barely visits the offices of the television channel and has very little to do with it, and that the money was a loan which the channel returned. Let's listen in. But I just want to ask you that this entire thing is now, or has no longer been about A Raja. This entire uh, question has come literally to your doorstep. Uh, Organisations which you associated with have been raided. You yourself have been questioned by the CBI. Uh, surely that couldn't have been easy for you. I mean, uh, you know, that's not an experience anyone wants to go through. Yeah, Let alone definitely. someone who's in public life. Definitely. But uh, I don't make decisions in the Kalinga TV. I might be associated with it. But uh, everybody associated with it doesn't get to make decisions. So, so even uh, though even though you are someone who's a twenty percent stakeholder in Kalinga TV, you you have not I mean, really I, at I all to any decision making. You don't go I, to the office. I mean, I'm not a director. I hardly go to the office, and I'm not interested in what really happens over here, or nor do I interfere in you know, what goes on in Kalinga TV. Apart from that, I'd like to say it is an inquiry. Right. So let us wait. we are saying this is a business house the kalinga tv is an institution which is run you know as a business but so, it's a business which is owned by by members of the dmk yes, family yes i don't so, deny it so, so there's an inqu inquiry and i'm telling you that we will come clean out of it so let us wait for the case i mean we haven't done anything wrong so are you saying that this entire money which was transferred this 214 crores from uh, yes, Kalinga it was it, which was transferred no, to Kalinga we, we we borrowed no it i i yeah. like to correct you here yeah. we i think we borrowed it from sine yuga company called sine yuga that's right so that that is who, who we have borrowed it from and we have returned it with interest so it is borrowing money and returning it and that is it no can you explain the reason why that argument uh, was questioned is because Uh, what uh, your CEO said was that it wasn't a loan. Essentially, Sine yes. was looking to invest. Yes, they in were looking TV. at. Yes, of course, we every company looks at investments. And then there was a disagreement. Yes, there was a disagreement yes. over the investment. And I'm only talking the about the uh, later part of it. Whatever happened, yes, it was an investment, and uh, they did not the uh, tele uh, Kalinga Television people and uh, the company did not agree on whatever they thought the stakes could be. So they decided to you uh, take it as a loan for some time, and then they've returned the money. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com/apps.